Hey guys, so I haven't done a love and light message in a really long time. I know I've been doing a video a day, Monday to Friday. Sometimes I do some things over the weekend, but my love and light message is really just a random message from the universe where the universe or our spirit guides want us to know something, a lesson that we need to learn, some sort of insight that we need to receive. So I do like doing those from time to time. I'm going to do them a little bit more regularly now that I, I'm happy with the setup that I have. So let's see what message the universe has for us that we need to know. consistent kind of a thing that I see here with these cards. I'm going to take these three cards first. King of Swords here and the two cards that came on here were Queen of Pentacles and Four of Cups. Bottom of the deck, King of Cups. That's interesting. Okay. been able to let go of somebody. That's what I'm seeing here. You're struggling with the idea of letting go of somebody. And by in doing so, you're not really acknowledging the opportunity that can exist with this very same person, should you allow yourself to let go of the old. Because remember, the Two of Cups is the card of relationships and equal give and take partnerships. So I'm seeing you're really crying over spilled milk. Keeps you in a state of anxiety. Maybe you're waiting. Maybe you're not able to move on. Either way, it's like, it's a completely debilitating energy here. And I feel that you're kind of not letting go of this person. Because you feel that if you let go of them, then the opportunity is gone. But the universe is saying, hey, it's a matter of healing yourself and shifting your perspective because not all could be lost. This person could come back, or it could be somebody else. Either way, you're guaranteed to be happy. But you need to allow yourself to even look in this direction in order to reap the rewards of the universe and your journey. You're denying yourself that opportunity is what I'm seeing here. So you need to let go of the old. There's no better time to do this than the eclipse, the solar eclipse with the new moon in Taurus here. This is the opportunity to set the intentions, to ground yourself to let go. <coughs> Excuse me. Now, to me, it seems when I get the King of Swords, the Four of Cups, and the Queen of Pentacles, I am specifically, very directly, getting the message that, I mean, the fact that I even saw the King of Cups at the bottom of the deck. First of all, there could be a same-sex connection here. Um, I'm seeing that you could be with a partner who is actually bisexual or perhaps interested in another man or another masculine energy. That's a possibility here. I'm getting that right now. But what I'm seeing here is that there is somebody who is in a period of growth and transformation. This period of growth and transformation, a masculine energy, I'll be honest, is definitely not working according to your timing and your preference. There's a lack of patience here from you, period. But the universe isn't going to wait for anybody. The universe is going to work the way it needs to work. The universe is going to do what it needs to do, whether you like it or not. In the meantime, you are being asked to ground. The Queen of Pentacles is that Earth energy of Taurus. It is that Empress-like energy that we're being asked to step into. You are also receiving a lot of information and guidance that this person is on this journey. You're just not allowing yourself to believe it. But also, the idea of believing this journey isn't so much about believing this person can change for you. It's about having enough faith in the universe that you will get what you deserve and what is rightfully yours, regardless whether this person is it or not. That's what I'm getting here.
This person is on a journey though. But the advice is for you to let go in order to reap what's new. Let go of the old to reap what is new. <clears throat> Let's see what we can get about this person here. The transition and growth that this person is going from is being emotionally cut off to being full of emotion. This person may have been emotionally cut off while you were connected to them. This person may have been somebody who concealed their emotions. This person may have been somebody who was resistant to the idea of love. This person seems like somebody who couldn't understand love. They may have rejected your love time and time and time again. They may have called you obsessed. They may have just not understood they were so used to being given love in such a difficult way that they recognized it in issues of challenge. This person has had multiple relationships that just didn't work out. Something about you comes into this picture as a nurturing, soulful individual. And it speaks so strongly to this person's heart, but this mind, his mind does not know this kind of love. Yeah. So this person is going from being emotionally cut off to being quite emotional here. What else do I need to know about this person's energy? Definitely balancing out between their masculine and their feminine energy. This is a card that proves it to me. I like that. So nine of wands and ten of wands tells me that we are approaching the, this person is approaching the end of that burden and that energy of resistance. And they're coming into this energy of creating something brand new and starting all over again. It's almost like we go from nine to ten back to one. We end the cycle to begin a new cycle. So this person has definitely moved slowly towards the ending of the cycle, but they are moving quite steadily towards this. I'm seeing cancer season could be quite significant. You could have cancer, you know, perhaps in your chart or theirs. It is quite significant here, but this person is slowly moving towards your journey. But you're being asked not to wait for this person. What do we need to know about your journey? Two of Cups. <laughs> That's the two of cups you're being asked to focus on. And look, the sun and the hermit. Leo and Virgo placements could be quite significant here, either for you or them, doesn't have to be. But the clarity also is that you need to go within and honor your own journey because that's what's going to bring you what you desire and help you magnetize and attract what's rightfully yours. You're focusing too much on this person and really you should be focusing on yourself is what I'm getting here. Okay, so it could be quite difficult for you to do, but it seems this eclipse energy is supporting you with this. It's providing more clarity. Seven of Cups, Queen of Wands, Judgment. Queen of Cups at the bottom of the deck, which is a divine pair to the King of Cups here. So I like that. That's telling me I'm getting a very big, and look, the Empress is here. This person sees you as an Empress. They're quite sexually attracted to you when they love you, when they want to come back with a little bit of communication. <gasps> And truth. <gasps> oh, this is big. The Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, the Ace of Cups, the Ace of Swords, everything. And it all comes as you walk away. Look, as you walk away, walk away from no longer serves you. That is incredible. The minute I picked out the King of Cups and I said the Queen of Cups came out, it's a pair. It's because this person does see you as the Empress, which I mentioned over here. Okay? This person does have a brand new, passionate view towards you. Their heart is filling up with love. They desire a return here. They want to communicate this to you. And they want to be in a state of authenticity. All four aces on the table. This, this connection, whatever this is, is in for a big renewal. Okay, But the advice to you is to uh, just focus on yourself. Distract yourself in a very healthy way with your own story 
with your own creativity. I'm seeing that there are many different opportunities for you to embark on new projects and new creative ventures because it's in this passion for creativity that you see your rebirth. I'm also feeling that you're slowly coming out of this energy. This reading is definitely for those people who are realizing that they need to shift this perspective. There are going to be some of you who watch this, and this might resonate for you a little later in your journey, but I'm seeing this very strongly for people who are right at the end of that cycle. So just like this person is closing out their cycle here, so are you. They are closing out their cycle of being unemotional and starting to feel their emotions and understand more of what they desire, and you are closing out your cycle of not focusing on yourself. So look at that. I love it. 